from the folks who popularized the glass panel, Avidine is now ready to break into the burgeoning FSS market. Let's take a look at the FMS 900W. Mike, uh, the surprise announcement earlier this year that uh, Avidine was ready to let loose with an FMS solution, uh, shouldn't have really caught anybody by surprise cons uh, considering some of the projects you've worked on in the past. But let's talk about the FMS 900W and what this means to the GA industry. Right, so what we're displaying here and what we're demonstrating is our, like you said, our first release of um, the FMS into this type of market. And it's, we built it around the single pilot IFR environment. Uh, we made it very easy to use for the typical day VFR kind of person all the way up to a commercial type pilot who's a hardcore IFR. So it has all the leg types that anyone would want to fly um, at that level of, of market. Talk to us about the feature set of this device. So what we did with the FMS is we, Aberdeen's known for a big glass. So we really tried to optimize our glass and, and tried to create a very easy to, to view uh, large font uh, English representation of, of the flight plans uh, that you'd be flying. So uh, what we're looking at here is we have our origin, which would be preloaded based on your current position or where the aircraft was landed. And here we're at Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, at a waypoint. The only thing I can do out of Ronald Reagan, since there are no departures, is just at a waypoint. So you can see here the first thing we're doing is we're showing um, our function, our algorithm called Geofill. It's a geographic-based prediction of what we feel the pilot is going to want to add as a waypoint after, or in this case, based on his present position. When you build a flight plan, it's going to be based on the last waypoint in your flight plan. So uh, here we have uh, DCA VOR. So I'll just push the, the knob down here, and then that'll get entered. Now out of DCA, we can see you can add a waypoint. You can do a hold, or you can enter Victor 8. So we'll go down and select Victor 8. Now you can see all the exit points off of Victor 8. We'll just go up here, and we'll select one. But you can see I just added probably about a dozen waypoints and just a few pilot actions. So we're looking for, to uh, create a very safe environment for the pilot to reduce his number of pilot actions as he's entering his flight plan. So you can see over here on the, the left side of the screen we have a, a map which is showing our flight plan. The airplane in the simulation mode is going to recapture onto that flight plan. So at the end of this airway, I'm just going to add another waypoint and you notice it, it picked an airport at the end of the BSV VOR and it just happens to be Akron Canton Regional so if I put in any of the letters it's going to geofill off of the letters I have entered okay. but here I'm going to select that airport so off we go we're flying away Aero TV is brought to you by today there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. One of the other important features of this FMS is we have this uh, feature called vectors. It's the FMS flying um, a heading mode. So in today's navigators, you'd have to or potentially suspend your flight plan, change your autopilot into a heading mode. We have this uh, function where the FMS is still, or the autopilot is still coupled to the FMS. You haven't touched your autopilot. You haven't changed into a heading mode. It's just basically flying an FMS heading. Okay. And that's this button right here. Let me just sync the heading. I'm going to push that. And you see this dashed line shows up. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to rotate it off of our flight plan. So I'm flying to avoid traffic or weather or whatever okay. other obstacle is out there. Our FMS is all about flying the magenta line. So that's why we have the, the representation of what you're going to fly mm -hmm. by this vector. And this is actually a track made good. Um, right now we have no crosswind, so our heading bug lines up with this track, okay. but if there was a crosswind, you'd see that they wouldn't be lined up on top of each other. So here I am, I'm flying off. Now, all I'm doing is rotating a dedicated heading knob on the keypad here. Mm -hmm. Now if I rotate that back over my flight plan, you'll notice it's going to show as an intercept back onto my flight plan. Okay. 
So this is showing me exactly what the airplane is going to do. It's going to fly that heading. When it hits the flight plan, it's going to re-intercept the flight plan. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't always happen that ATC is going to clear you back on your flight plan, so you're able to easily disarm the intercept, which is going to show you flying right through that leg. And you can put your vectors or overlay your vector on any legs in your flight plan. It doesn't have to be your active. Now I'm going to add a procedure onto this airport, and there's a dedicated procedure button, proc button. And you can see here, these are all the possible procedures. Now, if there was a, a WAS approach here, that would also show up in the list. We can fly LPV WAS approaches, um, DO229 Gamma 3. Um, it just happens to not be one here, so I'll just select an ILS. There's a vectors or the full approach, ACO um, IF. So I'm going to select that. And you can see that that's now in your flight plan. And here's a really good example of why we spell out all the different leg types. So we don't know exactly how you're going to get from your previous flight plan leg to the first point on your flight plan, on your approach, so we put this gap in route. Our pilot can easily go in and close that. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Well, you see there are also seven, uh, seven total tabs here with the FMS. You have a, a full flight plan, which provides you some additional data blocks and some additional buttons that you could press for flight planning. You have the split mode, which is a map, a typical Avidine type of map. You can overlay data link and traffic and all the other sensors on top. Mm -hmm. um, and then you see the flight plan next to it. We have an info, which um, frequencies, you can show weather, runway information, some calculated sunrise, sunset, density, altitude. You have your airport diagram and some airport information. The other things that not in our existing products is you have, well, you have VORs, NDBs, intersections. We also have ARTCCs, and we also have flight service centers. You see these frequencies everywhere. Any frequency within our system, you can nominate over to the nav radios, which are also included in what we're showing here. Okay. Um, we have digital radios, two digital radios in this system, and a remote mounted transponder. You can do everything with the FMS through the bezel. Okay. You can do everything, but the keypad makes everything a lot faster and a lot easier to use for a pilot. It's always going to be ready for you to, be, to do comm tuning. So you can see here, and this is just comm tuning. This isn't your audio panel. That would be separate to do the mixing and intercom in, in your aircraft. So you see comm one. I can just enter in any frequency here. I don't need the leading one or the decimal point. So if I put in a, a frequency here, 250. I can wait for it to enter it into the standby, or I could bypass that and swap it right up into the active. You know, we've been developing this for, for years, and um, we're very happy to be announcing it to the world. Mike, thanks very much. We sure appreciate the intro. No problem. My pleasure.